vlog in here. Okay, what's going on? I just picked up the kids from school. You guys, listen. We're gonna go home. You're gonna change. Mommy Tart is a little stressed out, okay? She's stressing over your outfit, which I think is funny. We have a picture shoot, picture show, a photo shoot for the calendar, and we're going to a place that's gonna be cute and so oodles of cuteness. And she has outfits. She went to Target today and she called me and she's like, I cannot pick out an outfit. I am the worst at making decisions. I have just decided, I've known this about myself all along, but I'm finally just gonna accept the fact that I can't make quick decisions. And she's all stressed out because she can't find, she went to try to find you guys a new outfit to wear. Daddy! What? I thought I was gonna decorate this. When? You will. What are you talking about? Cause, I can tell you something. Let's see, what is this? Tell me what. When? You're changing yeah. the subject, Brohim. This feather, this feather is coming home, and he, she hanged a chicken on the wall. Like is it a, a chicken or a turkey? It's a turkey. Yeah, because Thanksgiving's Tur coming up. She, 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 she. Tut, 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 today, Junior. She hung a chicken on the wall, and then you get to decorate the feather, and then you get to take it to school and hang it on the chicken? Yeah, yes. tomorrow. Dude, I love chickens. How do you know that? Because I'm the smartest person you've ever met and the best father you'll ever have. Anyways, Colette was trying, Mommy Tard was trying to get you guys an outfit to wear for the picture shoot, the photo shoot, but she couldn't find one that she liked. So you guys have to wear the same crappy old clothes that you've always had, okay? What do you think about that? Did she really do that? Yes, she called me today. I can send you the hay tell. Do you guys want to hear it? Yeah. Okay, let's listen. Such a good husband. Oh wait, that's a different one. <laughs> but I did want you to hear that. That was one after I sent I sent her a message saying it's okay, baby. Don't worry about it. I love you too. I'm at Target trying to figure out what the girls should wear for this photo shoot, and I'm stressing out, and I shouldn't stress out, but I am. <laughs> so she's at home right now, rustling together some clothes for you guys to wear. So we got to get home, hurry and change into them because we're rushing against the light. Because of daylight savings, it's more like daylight losing time. We've lost an hour, and so we have to hurry and get to where we're taking these pictures for while the, before the sun sets. Is everybody on the same page? Yeah. Sun tired. Are you on the same page? I'm busy. You're on a different page. You're on that page. Look, it's a book, dude. What are you reading? A freaking dictionary? How thick is that thing? I'm on page 81 already. Let me see how thick that is, man. It's like the thickest book I've ever seen in my entire life, dude. Why are you so smart? Hmm. I'm just smart. I'm just a genius. I'm just cool and good at everything. I don't know. Get the baby boy. Get the baby boy. What are you doing? Hey, look. Some rocks. Look at those rocks. Coolest rocks ever. Hey, hey. Look at daddy. Look at daddy. Give me a smile. I don't look at you, dad. I'll race you through. Oh, he's gonna pick one up. Truck it. Oh, we're gonna get kicked out of. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody noticed anything. Taking pictures for the photo shoot. This is the photo shoot for the calendar. Oh, Alana nice Extraordinaire. Let's see your outfit, dude. Give us a photo shoot. Get us, give us a runway. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh. Hitting that pose. Oh, my. Someone's a professional. Not to be upset. Oh my gosh! Amazing clothes! That's just a classic go to move. Make them look cute. You're good, Princess Tart. I don't want to. The girl with the million faces. Oh my goodness. I'll just do this little circle thing. That ought to be cool. Okay, if you uh, don't know where this place is, it's a very famous light post. Lots of light posts. It's the LACMA. Los Angeles Arts Museum of pretty cute girls. I like your hair thing. What are those? Climb up the light post. See how high you can climb up there. Alexander Graham Bell invented that for you to climb it. He did, I remember. He sent me a note. It was part of the journal entry that day. Invented the light bulb today. One day I hope a girl can named I, Princess Tar climbs a pole my... with... Yeah. No! You can't, dude. You have to look cute for the picture. Is it going to be hard to climb without your shoes on? Dude, I don't know. You probably shouldn't do that. Rock Tard. Look at Alana. So we are getting more photos for the calendar. Cheese! Hello! Say cheese! Watch out for traffic, dude. Watch out for cars. Cars! Watch out for traffic! Okay. Cheese! That's what he's been saying all day. Cheese! 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 Jeez. Let's go see what Mommy Tart looks like. Oh, I see a hottie. There's a hottie. Where is she? Hey, gorgeous. Did you paint those pants on? 
Mom's stressed out. I'm trying to get everybody ready, okay? Oh, dude, I like Don't that. That's tell. handsome. Handsome, handsome. Yeah, the girls, do the girls look good? Yeah, they look cuter they're than cuteness. Hair. Yeah, well, the place we were at right before this had a lot of hay. Wink, wink, guess what it is. Okay, come on, let's get together. Hey, meatball. I think that dog's gonna become the appetizer. Hey, my puppy. Is that your doggy? It's not mine. It's adorable. Oh, I guess we should find hey. Colette was yelling at me like, you can't pet random dogs, but you can't tie your dog up outside of a restaurant and not expect yeah. to get him pet. Okay, he wants to be pet. Sure. What do you think? You think he's cute? Fred the Star? Yeah. He's a cute puppy. You like him, Gage? Yeah. What do you think his name should be? Let's, yeah. What? Jake. Jake? Uh -huh. I think we should name him Meatball. Hey, Meatball. Hey, Meatball. What you doing, buddy? I'd say That's a Meatball dog. <laughs> Hey daddy, here's a toothpick. We're with the Knife Knolls in town. Is this, is this, from this is the Stray Tards vlog. <laughs> I didn't sign anything to be in there. Yeah, you're gonna sign the waiver. <laughs> this is the Knife Knolls. Are just from you guys? So, <laughs> yes. go subscribe to the Knife Knolls. They just moved here to Los Angeles. This is really the only reason that people subscribe. Yeah, I, that's the only reason we have kids. That's, I mean, that's why we're gonna have another right, one, right? Use her down, we gotta have another baby. <laughs> oh, the rumors. Will you have, will you, let, I want you to commit right now, have a baby. I'm not committing right I now to have a baby. I inside. I thought I heard something about we it. We did. Yes, but we can always try, babe. <laughs> uh, pervert. Oh, I am embarrassed. Wow. I'm sorry, Meatball. She always talks like that. She's a pervert. Get your dirty wife out of here. I don't want to come walking down these steps. I want to see you guys around here again. It's still raining, but it doesn't seem so bad. We go to our next stop for the rest of the day. Even after we left Greenwood. I fired up. Even though we still weren't getting any big crowds any place. I'm fired up. We're fired up. <laughs> this is where Obama shines. He is good at just being very personable. Like just this whole story. Like I'm like, that's a good story. Like he's talking about the story when he was in uh, where do you say he was? I can't South remember. Carolina about when he was running for president four years ago. So we're on CNN. We're watching presidential debates. Big day tomorrow. Uh, really big day. It for is. Me at school. Why is it really? a big day for you at school? Because we have to do P.E., we have to do this math wizard thing. Oh, dude, your schedule is stacked, dog. We have, to do, oh, we have to do our language arts games, we have to do our math games. How we are you going to fit it all in? We have to... When are you going to go vote? Do you have a planner? You need a planner. Can you pencil some time in for me and your mom, you think? Please. <laughs> you are busy. Anyways, tomorrow's big election day. I just wish people wouldn't get so freaking... I rate about the elections. I tweeted. I, th I thought it was funny. I was I was joking around. <laughs> you can't joke and at this point in the election. I got so many tweets serious. from people who are like, I've just lost total and all respect for you, Shay Carl. I used to love your family and I thought you were, a, you know, all this stuff. But now I just think you're the biggest blah, blah. People are getting so angry about election stuff. I am so excited for the elections to be over. Okay, this is what I said on Twitter. I said, uh, so tomorrow is the day to vote. No poor losers. I commit to support whoever we choose as a nation indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Which I really do believe in, sincerely and genuinely. If Barack Obama is as the next president, if Mitt Romney, whoever it is, I feel like... Which it will be one of those two. It will be one of those two, right? <laughs> <laughs> what if Ron Paul makes oh, a, a big showing? You never know. You know, Gary Johnson? You never know. He was on SourceFed. Is that his name? Gary Johnson? He could pull through. I'm running. I can get written in. But I feel like whoever wins, no matter what, it is our responsibility as a nation to come together and to support that person. I feel like just out of respect for the position, the office of president. That's what I said. And then right after that, as a joke, I said, I had to keep feathers. it going. Gotta ruffle feathers. Gotta ruffle some feathers. I said, but if Mitt Romney doesn't win, I'm going to shoot out the windows of local businesses and light cars on fire. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It's not funny. And then I got all these tweets. <laughs> I've lost all respect for you, Shay Carl. You're an evil person. And people saying that I don't care about women's rights. And all that. <laughs> anyway, so tomorrow I'm going to be doing a live show giving away free, 50 free Shea Carl for President shirts. I'm not sure when. It'll be on Blog TV. Come check it out. And uh, I'm going to be giving away 50 
free Shea Carl for President shirts. Um, what time are you? One doing person that? in every state. Probably, I'll probably be on for a while. I'll probably be on for a couple hours. But I'll probably start like around <coughs> four in the afternoon. What's up, babe? I had to decorate. What is that? Oh, did you oh, go get your colored thingy or jiggers? I had to decorate it. She has a feather and they have a turkey, which she calls a chicken, on the wall at her school. <laughs> they can put their feather on the chicken or turkey. Or gobble, gobble, gobble. Go get your coloring sticks, young yeah, lady. Let's do that tomorrow because it says you can bring it back anytime this week and it's late. So yeah, you gotta probably spend time on it. It's not like just a quick color. Don't be so disappointed, bro. Yeah. Your feather is gonna fly. Your, your feather is gonna be the feather, feather that is responsible for that turkey soaring through the air. I believe Leave, I can touch, touch the sky. sky. Baby Todd, Baby color Todd that feather nice. There comes a little boy. Hello. You've been watching Seinfeld again? Old episodes of Seinfeld? Hello. Who remembers that? Hello. Double it up. Double fisting it. What do you got there? Two, three, tip cups. Two, three, tip cups? He said <laughs> two, two, three, two. sip cups. Say, I have two sippy cups. <laughs> that is Spider-Man. Say, Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man. You got your superheroes mixed up. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Let's finish watching the president. <laughs> it's Spider-Man! <laughs> You're way off, dude. Speaking of elections, we are giving away 50 free Shea Carl for President 2012 shirts tonight at 6 Pacific Standard Time. Or... 9 Eastern Time. We're going to go for about 2 hours, and we're going to give away one shirt for every state. We're going to go with the original 50. 50 nifty United States. You know how the song goes. Check out yesterday's vlog. A lot of fun. We did a lot of uh, acrobatics in yesterday's vlog. Me and Princess Star did simultaneous swinging backflips out of the swings at the playground uh, for Suntard's football game. And then, of course, just a lot of Chuck and Children. I'm going to start a company called Chuck and Children. Basically, uh, teaching parents the proper techniques and safety tips for all children chucking events. <laughs> Check out to the right, new podcast. Really excited about this week's podcast. We had a, a new kind of twist on which kids said it. And Kasim G, the one and only, is going to be on this on the podcast this Friday. We had a lot of interesting topics. Uh, those of you who are there during the live show can attest to that. So live show tonight, links below on Blog TV starting at 6 Pacific Standard Time. Come and win yourself a free shirt. Check out the uh, video from Rodeo Arcade uh, me and Brett made today uh, announcing also when the live show is. Okay? Love your face. See you, see, you, see you tomorrow. Yep. Be back tomorrow. That's what we do every day vlog. So, so once tomorrow comes around, we'll be here again. Will we have a new president tomorrow? It's exciting. Honestly, honestly. We'll talk about this in the live show tonight. I don't, I am, I will be, I will accept whoever wins. I just think it's cool that all of us get together on something like this. Like tonight's going to be exciting. I'm pumped. So come hang out with us in the live show. We'll have a lot of a uh, conversation about it. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.